Mayor says more help is in the works to address the thousands of pending claims. And today, Joe Moeller spoke with Dieter's new acting director and the woman leading the rapid response strike force about efforts that are being done. He is live tonight with more. Joe? And Heda, this is the first time we've interviewed both of them in their new roles. We talked about a number of topics, including that major backlog of claims and also the lost assistance program. We are going to get through this backlog. We are going to build a better system for the future. As the pandemic continues, thousands wait for unemployment benefits. Literally, we have hundreds of new staff coming on, which will help us process. Thursday, we spoke to the acting director of Beater, Elisa Caporetta, and the leader of the Rapid Response Strike Force, Barbara Buckley. They are using 200 welfare workers to help with the backlog. Normally a two-week training, but they're doing it uh, after hours. New technology is being implemented this week. Some claimants may have received an email from a company called IDME. It will help verify people's identity. So if folks do get these uh, emails from Dieter asking them to go to IDME to verify their identity, that is a legitimate test that we are running to see if we can use that to speed up that one step in the process. We asked about what many are calling a mass denial of claims. There were quite a few people who were in the PUA system that we had determined, because we, we can look at wage data, that they had W-2 wages that would make them uh, eligible and required by federal law to go through the regular unemployment system. Dieter will start the application process for the Lost Wages Assistance Program or the extra $300 weekly payment. Despite some states already making payments, they say they had to wait for the governor's approval. I think the way that it was set up, um, it's not going to flow quickly to these states, um, including ours. We also talked about a number of other topics, including fraud, which is a big problem for Dieter. This interview is well over 30 minutes. You can find the complete clip up on our website. That is 8newsnow.com. I'll send it